Hey there, this is Martin from Zadas Gaming and back for the second in our Hustle Castle Arena Guide. So in this video, I'm basically going to go through strategies that I tend to do when I do arenas. And the aim of that is to basically help increase the chance of you winning. Um, and that's not necessarily being at the top or two or three, but just being in the top nine so that you get in the arena shields. Um, if you're just starting or you've just moved into a bracket, then it's very difficult to get that one, two and three spot without having to play with your squad and, and seeing what the other teams are like. Um, so once you've kind of got a feel for that and you test the different squads, then you, you know, you're know you going to want to aim for that one, two or three spot. So the idea of this video is not necessarily to guarantee you to get to the top three spots, but just to help give you tips and, and strategies to help um, get within that top nine so that you can actually get the points. Um, so we're going to start an arena now. So we'll start and confirm. So that was quick, very quick. <laughs> um, so... I've started at the middle and that's because of my trophy count. So I have um, 1,997 trophies. So I would probably look to get this down to around about 17, 1,800 um, just so that I can appear more down here. Um, and then I can, it's a lot easier to attack up. You know, you get more opportunities later through the stages. Um, so you can do that by attacking other, other players in PvP just replace your barracks with cooks. Um, so the first thing that I do when I play is I find the weakest opponent. So 550, 457, so 457. So we'll go for that one first because the reason I go for that one is because the, the lowest one is unlikely that they're going to win many so therefore they're not going to be above me in any later stages for me to try and get a you know the, the bonus 75 points so i want to get rid of the weakest ones where i'm going to be getting the 50 points and then um the ones above me i know that i can then you know if they jump above me i can then get the top the the higher points um and there is another strategy that a lot of people do where they miss the first round and then the next round they can get 75 points straight away because they'll be around the bottom um personally that's never really worked out great for me um i much more prefer just to be able to fight in all five stages um mainly because you get these extra shields as well and it might not sound like much but they you know they all add up and they all help you get better better gear better artifacts um the gear in the arena store is going to be generally other than event gear it's going to be the best gear you can get so you definitely want to be saving up these arena trophies to get that so i'm not going to attack this one oh, i could do actually um Normally, I wouldn't attack up so early, but they're not going to get any further, I don't think. Although, saying that, these are all attacking up. So, if I attack up, I'm going to get one, two, five. So, I'll, I'll be in position one, which I don't necessarily want to do. Um, so, I'm going to see what this guy does first of all. If he loses, then I'll attack him. If he doesn't, then so he's one. So, that's great. So, what I'll do now is I'll go down here. Um, so as you can see, this one is one that's missed the first turn and got 75 and did that strategy. So I'll go for, let's have a look. Uh, let's go for this one. And attack. Cool. Right, so the reason I didn't attack up is because they have more trophies than me. So they're always going to be above me. And so what I can do now is this next round, these are all going to be above me. So if one of these gets 75 points in the next round, then what I can do is I can attack this one, get 75 points. This one potentially would be above me the next round, which I can attack and then get another 75 points, um, which by the last round should put me at the top and then 50 points should win it. 
Um, it's just a case of just seeing how the maths work out. Um, and what I would definitely recommend, and not many people seem to do it, is to look at the battle results and just see what everybody else is doing. See what people are scoring. So I can look at here and see Russ. And, you know, if he scored lower on one and I scored higher, so let's say Russ attacked, you know, let's say he attacked this one and he only got 45 but I attacked it and got 50, then I know that there's a higher chance that I would be able to beat Russ. Um, so therefore, I like to keep an eye on what other people are scoring and what they're doing so that I can potentially um, know that I can beat them. And it's funny, I know that so many people don't look at this because I attack somebody, beat them, and then they attack me back and they're not going to win um, because they've just lost against me. So why would you? <laughs> so this time, uh, Russ got some 175. Um, let's have a quick look at his squad. So he's resurrection. This is a pain in the backside because that keeps him alive for a while. He's got a poison. And this is probably going to be, no, it's not insta kill. Um, so he obviously does arenas quite a lot because he has this one. And this is just the, the, the one that's been released. Um, and you buy it for 90,000 arena points, I believe. So he obviously does arena quite a lot. Um, I think we could beat that one. I don't know if we'd get 475, but what we're going to do is Sulio's not beat anyone. So if I don't attack him, I'm missing a good opportunity. So I'll go for him and attack that. So we may get 475, which I think we will, yep. Yeah. Good. So next, what do we do next? So we're going to be second. So now we do have a choice. We can either attack up a Russ and get 75 ready for the fifth stage, or we can attack down and get 50. And then with the hopes of getting 75 in the last round. Oh no, I'm top. And that'll be because of trophies, which is a bit of a pain, to be honest. If I didn't have the trophies, then that would have been better. I could have attacked up, but never mind. So my only option now is to attack down. So Roy is going to be the easiest one because he's not scored any points for the past three rounds. So that's done. So next we are, where are we? We're 225. So he looks pretty decent. He's got the, the new gear. Got insta kill, which means he's probably running a poison mage. There we go. All right, he's got that artifact, but I don't really like that artifact. Okay, so. He's behind us anyway. So we have a choice. We can either go down and finish on 275 or attack up and hope that we beat this one. So we need to just look at his gear. So that one's a pain as well. He's got a lot. That's a real pain. That normally stops me from getting the full 75 points. So does that one. Um, he's not got a... Poison Mage, from what I can see, which is good. Uh, but he's got a lot of defense stuff. So he just beat Roy 50. So if I go for, if I go down, then I won't get in the top three because these three. So I'm just going to go for it. I don't know if I'm going to win. So let's just go and hope. <laughs> We shall see. So no, that worked out good. So sometimes you just got to go for it. So luckily we got the full 75, which means that we get 300 and that'll put us in the number one spot. Um, so, you know, the main strategy is just to play it and just to start off with the weakest and then just work out what the other people are doing. So try and be one stage ahead of everybody else. So 
look at what other people's numbers are. Don't just, you know, don't just attack down. Don't just attack up. You want to be looking at who other people are attacking. Um, so we'll start another one just to see if we can get in there fairly quickly. So, yeah, you want to be looking at who are they attacking? What are they scoring? And kind of where are they going to position so that you can then optimize that as much as possible. Um, and again, I was quite lucky in that round, to be honest. I was very lucky because um, I was number one when I didn't necessarily want to be, and that was because of the trophies. So ideally, I would have been number two, and then I could have potentially attacked up. Um, so I was quite lucky in that, to be honest. Um, but I would have been in the top nine, so that's still, you know, it's still fine. Um and like I said, to get your trophies down, you just do PvP in the map and just, you know, take your squad out of here and just put a cook in there and attack with that. And another good tip to save you from using apples is to just do a revenge attack. So now if I attack this guy, he's got 4 million. So I don't need to put a cook in because I know I'm going to lose. So if I just do a revenge attack, I'm going to lose, which is what I want. So attack. And there we go, short and sweet. Um, but I've lost 13 trophies, which is what I want. Um, I could instantly recover resources, but I haven't used any. And that's why it's good to do revenge attacks because it doesn't actually take away any of your apples. So it's a good way of getting your trophies down without using apples by attacking people on the map. Um, and it's another good way. If you attack people on the map and you've used some of your apples, do a revenge attack, get the ad that recovers apples, and then you can get some apples back. So it's a good way of getting your apples back as well. So here we are, slap bang in the middle again. Um, and it's worth as well remembering who you've been against before because you can use that to your advantage. So I know now that I can beat CV123. Um, I know that I... Don't think I can beat King Pepper. No, I can beat King Pepper. Surely I can. Although he's got two. No, I can beat King Pepper. <laughs> I'm getting confused now. Um, so yeah, you want to keep track of who you can beat and who you can't beat because then that will make it easier the next fight because you can then, you, you know, you can plan it better because you know who you can and can't beat. So again, we're going to go for the weakest. So eight, 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 five, two, two. So 522 is the weakest. You can normally find the arena's got a, a few weaker people because a lot of people tend to just rush to the higher throne levels and the higher brackets, and they're just concentrating on leveling up their fighters. And the downside to that is that they're leveling up the fighters, but they're not getting gear for them. Um, so the arena store will give you gear based on your highest leveled fighter. So if you're constantly leveling them up, you're never going to be able to gear them up enough for the next stage. So at the moment, the gear for me is going to be um, 60 to 70, I believe. I can't remember fully. Um, so I'm staying here, getting as much of that gear as possible ready before I actually then move the fighters up to the next bracket. Um, and then, I'm, then they're all going to be geared out ready. Whereas if you just push them all up constantly to the next bracket or keep leveling up your fighters based on what the barracks level is or the training room level, you're, you're never going to be able to gear them up. And that's why you can find often find the, the easy wins. So I'm not going to attack this one just yet. I'm just going to keep an eye on what they're doing because it's a bit early to get into that position one spot, I think. Um, plus it's got the lamp, which is often a pain. The pizza is a pain. Um, so we'll see. We won't bother with that one. Um, the one, um, one of the artifacts that I do really like is this one. Um, Dusty Antiques, and it's got the Rune of Transformation on because this will basically stop enemies from using their artifacts, but then also I'll be able to still use one of their artifacts. So that's really good if they have 
so an artifact that I haven't got is really useful. So we're going to go for which one shall we go for? Let's go for we're in the second round. Dr. Pepper's just won one. So we're going to go for him. Let's just confirm if I have BM. I would have thought so at 500, but he's got two boys and majors. There we go. Um, you know, he's got a good defense. He's obviously worked on his squad and got the the power down. So he's obviously done a lot of compacting. Um, and that's basically going to be what he's done here is he's souped up, you know, he's got decent three here um, with runes. So the, the power is quite high for these three. Um, and then these two, the other two, so these two have only got this on, and that's to keep this, the power down. So it's kind of to bait people into attacking him. So it's kind of like showing that he's got less squad power, but he's actually quite powerful because he's got these three are, are fairly souped up. Um, although that one's only level 44, and he's got two Orb of Oblivions. So I don't know if that's if one of these isn't actually going to be working, but... That's down to him. So here we go. So 98, if I go 50, then that's going to be 100 and oh, my math's terrible, 48. Um, so I'll be above that one. I'll be below that one. So here I have a decision. Um, Ross was in the other ones. So I don't know how good he is. I know I can beat this one. I will go for if we go for the 75 this time. Let's see. Go for the 75 this time and the 50 the next time. Then hopefully that means the fifth round somebody might be above us that we can then go for the 75 on that one. But we'll see. So that has put us to 173. So I'm going to be at the top again. So that's my math's not working great but then that's fine we can go for 50 and then hopefully somebody kind of there above us so that's good so what are they so they have poison that's a good one that's what i use as well so this is good so when basically when this one dies it it summons a, an abyss abyssal or whatever you, however you say that um this well being done there lamp Insta kill two of those, so only one of them is going to work. So I think he could be quite tough, to be fair. Um, so let's have a look. So Russ has gone for 45. He's gone for Bobby and got 45. So I'm going to look at this one. So what has he been doing? So see if he's attacked any similar to me so he, he attacked king pepper and got full 50 whereas i only got 48 so that kind of makes me think that that could be i may not beat him um so i might not want to attack him just yet um he got 50 on that one and i got 50 so that's fine that would have been let's go for a 50 points. So what's Bobby on? Bobby's on that. Let's go for this one. That be should be a guaranteed 50 points. So yeah, there we go. So that's going to put us in 223. So is that going to put us behind this one or in front of this one? So now we're going to be at the top, which is a potentially, which is a bit not where I wanted to be. Ah, that's good. So this one is probably going to attack this one. Sorry, it's probably going to attack me. Let's have a look what's going to happen. So this is also going to determine where I go. So he's on one, two, seven, two, oh, so that's interesting. So What we've got, so we've got 289. 
So if I went for 50, I'm going to get 273, 273. So at the moment, I'll be second. Um, what I like to do is just to see where the last round is going to end, because if I can get in the top three by just getting 50 rather than risking getting beat on this one, then it's worth doing that. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you don't get number one spot. Let's look at his squad anyway. So let's call it poison there. Okay. So I think he could be quite tough to beat, to be honest. He's, yeah, I think he could be quite tough, but we'll risk it if we have to. So he's got 273. 289. So all I need to do is get 50 and I will be third. So let's do that. If we get 50, come on. No, I could change it. Let's have a look where we've gone. 271. So that's still third, so that's fine. There we go. So I could have attacked this one, and I could have got 75 points if I won and been at the top. But looking at his squad, it's more likely that I would have either lost that or not got the full 75 points. So it might have actually hurt me more. Um, so it's worth just going for the 50 if it means the top top three spot. Um, for this, it doesn't matter because I'm playing with tickets, so I'm going to get what I want anyway. If it was for food, then I potentially might have gone for the number one spot just so I can get the ticket. So, um, yeah, it's it's one of them. And then you can always see if you've actually beat them or not and um, mark them down as a win or a loss on a, a notebook or something so you can keep track of who you're beating and who you're losing against. Um, so there you go. That's the strategies. Um, well, the strategy that I go through anyway. Um, hopefully it's helped. Um, obviously, any questions, please do put them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help and answer them. And in the next video, I think we're going to either, depends on if we get an event soon or not, I think we're either going to go through the arena store and do some recommendations um, or open the chests. I think we're going to open the chests because then that way I'll have more points to buy stuff. So it'd be a shame to go through the arena store and not be able to buy some of the stuff. Um, so yeah, the next video, we're going to open the chests up. So until next time, bye for now.